Good morning, guys. Yeah, so people just need to be extremely cautious this morning because they have to take into consideration there is a dense fog advisory out in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. And then, like you guys mentioned, so many people will be on the roads and flying today due to everyone coming home from their Christmas celebration. So not only will people be traveling on one of the busiest travel days of the holiday season, but now drivers in the Austin area need to watch out for the fog. This combination will force drivers to take it extra slow when traveling today. According to AAA, normal drive times can easily double or even triple depending on where you're going. I-35 is one of the deadliest highways in Texas. 135 people died in crashes last year on that interstate. And this holiday season, Texas is working towards preventing any more fatalities. We spoke with them earlier this week about their Be Safe, Drive Smart campaign. Make sure that you're not speeding. Try not to tailgate. And then just plan ahead. You know, right now, a lot of people are going to be getting on the roads. They have holiday travel plans. And so you want to allow a lot of extra time for yourself so that way everyone can get to where they're going safely and arrive alive. AAA is also predicting that the worst travel times are between 4 this afternoon and 6 later tonight. Also, guys, today is expected to be the most expensive in terms of flying. Round trip ticket can cost around $692. Back to the studio. Hey, good morning. Well, honestly, guys, things aren't looking too bad out here. We know that there is a dense fog advisory in effect right now, but it's not as foggy as it was yesterday, and there's not a whole lot of traffic at this hour. But today is one of the busiest travel days this holiday season as everyone is coming back from their Christmas celebrations. A total of 2.9 million people are expected to fly today and tomorrow. That exceeds the nearly 2.5 million who travel on U.S. airlines on any other given day. And if you plan on driving, it won't be that much better. This could be the busiest day of the year for traffic jams. Now there is a perfect holiday recipe or explanation as to why so many people are traveling this holiday season. Unemployment is low, incomes are up, and gas prices are fairly low. In all, over the holiday period, more than 100 million Americans are expected to be hitting the roads. That's an increase of about 4% from last year. And due to the fact that it's foggy this morning, TechSot is reminding people how to drive. You don't want to be using your regular beams or even your high beams. If you do have fog lights, you want to use those or you want to use your low beams. Also, you can use the uh, reflective guides on the side of the roads or you can even just use that white striping along our shoulder to help guide you along your journey. And you also just want to slow down a little bit. Give yourself some extra space. Holiday travel season officially started on December 21st and it ends January 1st. Throughout that time, more than 115 million Americans will be traveling, which is breaking records this year. Hey, good morning, ladies. Well, we know that people need to be extremely cautious when driving this morning. Not only is it one of the busiest travel days of the holiday season, but also very foggy here in the central Texas area. There is a dense fog advisory in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. We have seen more cars out on I. 35 since the last 30 minutes when we came on air. So not only will people have to take the fog into consideration, but also need to watch out for a lot of drivers. This combination will force drivers to take an extra slow when traveling. Today, according to AAA, normal drive times can easily double or even triple depending on where you're going. I-35 is one of the deadliest highways in Texas. 153 people died in crashes last year on this interstate. This holiday season, Texas is working towards preventing any more fatalities. We did speak with them earlier this week about their Be Safe, Drive Smart campaign. AAA is predicting that the worst time to travel is between 4 and 6 p.m. today. This is also one of the most expensive days to travel in terms of flying. AAA is saying that a round trip could cost about $692. Back to you. Hey, good morning. Well, traffic is definitely picking up at this hour. Today will be one of the busiest travel days of the holiday season as everyone is returning home from their Christmas celebrations. A total of 2.9 million people are expected to fly today and tomorrow. That exceeds the nearly 2.5 million who travel on U.S. airlines on any other given day. And if you plan on driving, it won't be that much better. This could be the busiest day of the year for traffic jams. Now, there is a perfect holiday recipe or explanation as to 
to why so many people are traveling this holiday season. Unemployment is low, incomes are up, and gas prices are fairly low. And all over the holiday period, more than 100 million Americans are expected to be hitting the roads. That's an increase of about 4% from last year. Due to the fact that it's foggy this morning, TechSot is reminding people how to drive. And the holiday travel season officially started on December 21st, going through January 1st. And throughout that time, you guys, about 115 million Americans will be traveling, which is breaking records this year. Back to the studio. Fox 7 Austin's Jacqueline Sarkeesian actually just came back to Texas from home. Er, and she is out and about now giving us a look at how the roadways are looking this morning. Hi, Jacqueline. Hey, good morning, guys. I just made it in time, I guess, because I actually left from LAX around 7 o'clock Pacific time. And then I guess just after that, that's when the storm came. So pretty lucky that I made it back to Austin in time. But we are on Mopac heading north. I'm going to show you guys what we're seeing right now. You can see it is extremely foggy right now when Chelsea has been talking about the fog in the central Texas area. We do uh, dense fog advisory in effect until 9 o'clock this morning. As you can see, all those clouds in the sky at this hour. Traffic not too bad. We haven't seen a lot of cars on the roadways because I'm sure everyone is sleeping in from post Christmas celebrations, but not only people in the central Texas area have to be aware of the fact that it's one of the busiest travel days, but also take into consideration with the fog. According to AAA, normal drive times can easily double or even triple depending on where you're going. We know that I-35 happens to be one of the deadliest highways in Texas. Last year, 153 people died in crashes on that interstate in this holiday season. Exxon is working towards preventing any more fatalities. We did speak with them earlier this week about their new campaign called Be Safe, Drive Smart. And here is another live look heading on Mopac North, North Austin right now. So you can see we're on the side of the highway that we're on really hardly any cars, just a lot of clouds in the sky. So take that into consideration. AAA is predicting that the worst time to travel you guys today is between 4 and 6 p.m. So if you are planning to come back from wherever you may be for Christmas, just be aware that that can be a not the best time to be on the roads. Back to you. Maybe some dinner plans are in order. All right, thanks, Jacqueline. Stay safe out there. <laughs> yeah, guys, not on 35 at the moment. We are at 183 East, just heading towards Mopac. We've kind of been all over the place, checking out traffic and seeing how the fog is affecting drivers this morning. Here's a live look of what we're seeing. So we're just passing the Mopac entrance right now from 183 East, but you can see that it's really not that bad at this hour. And so still a lot of cl clouds in the sky, but just not a whole lot of traffic and commotion happening now. So I'm assuming that everyone is sleeping in from their Christmas. But like you guys have been mentioning today is one of the busiest travel days of the holiday season with a lot of people traveling home from their Christmas celebrations. A total of 2.9 million people are expected to fly today and tomorrow. And that exceeds the nearly two and a half million who travel on the U.S. airlines on any other given day. And if you plan on driving, well, it's not going to be that much better. This could be the busiest year for traffic jams and the perfect holiday recipe for this as to why so many people are traveling this season is because unemployment is low, incomes are up, and gas prices are fairly low. And all over the holiday period, more than 100 million Americans are expected to be hitting the roads, and that's an increase of about 4% from last year due to the fact that it's foggy this morning. TechSot is reminding people how to drive. Yeah, and we just missed there. We had a beautiful shot of the sunrise this morning, but the holiday season for the travel officially started December 21st. It ends on January 1st, and throughout that time, more than 150 million Americans will be traveling for this holiday season, which is breaking records. Back to you. All right, thank you, Jacqueline. Stay safe out there. Oxford also Jacqueline Sarkeesian is driving by the airport this morning. How busy is it out there? If it is busy indeed, Jacqueline. Well, guys, yeah, well, like you guys mentioned, today is one of the busiest travel days this holiday season. So we thought we'd come by the airport, see what it looks like right now. So here is a live look. What is it? It's 8 o'clock in the morning, the day after Christmas, and it, it's not looking too bad at the airport. This is the departures right here. So you can see just... I don't, not a whole lot of action right now. So things moving pretty smoothly. This is the drop off 
section for people trying to catch their flights heading out of Austin. But today and tomorrow will be one of the busiest travel days for this holiday season. Millions and millions of people will be flying back, returning home from their Christmas celebrations. We also know that people need to be extra safe when driving this morning because we are under that dense fog advisory until nine o'clock this morning. So with the busy travel day as well as the fog, people in the central Texas area need to take it very slowly and be very cautious. According to AAA, normal drive, drive times can easily double or even triple depending on where you're going. We know that I-35 is one of the deadliest highways in Texas. We've been driving on I-35 throughout the morning and about 150 three people died in crashes last year on that interstate. So Texas is just reminding people and working towards preventing any more fatalities this holiday season. Yeah, so it's pretty empty right now at the airport. And maybe that's because you guys, AAA is predicting that the worst time to travel is between four and six o'clock this evening. So, I mean, it's only eight o'clock in the morning. So maybe that's why there's not a whole lot of action happening here at the airport. Back to you. Yeah, it appears. It does appear to be very empty, as Amanda was saying, and I'm sure a lot of people at home saying, darn, we should have caught the early flight. All right, thanks, Jacqueline. For sure. <laughs> Jacqueline, it looks like you are going a little slower this time. Oh, yeah, let me show you guys what we're seeing right now. I-35 North just past Slaughter coming up on William Cannon. You guys can see there is a lot of traffic at this hour. So we've been talking all throughout the morning that this is one of the busiest travel days of the holiday season. And now we're actually seeing it a lot of it on I-35. We've kind of been all throughout the Austin area, and this is the first time we've seen some major backups, but a total of 2.9 million people are expected to fly today and tomorrow. And that exceeds the nearly two and a half million who travel on U.S. airlines on any other given day. And if you do plan on driving, well, it's not going to get much better. You can see this could be one of the busiest days of the year for traffic jams. The perfect holiday recipe or explanation as to why there are so many people on the roads this holiday season is because unemployment is low, incomes are up and gas prices are fairly low. In all over the holiday period, more than 100 million Americans are expected to be hitting the roads. That's an increase of about 4% from last year and due to the fact that it's also foggy this morning, TechSot is reminding people how to drive. So back out here live traveling north on I-35, you can see traffic is moving pretty smoothly on the other side of the interstate, on the interstate, which is uh, south I-35. And then you come back here north just up to William Cannon. We passed Slaughter one exit ago, so the traffic is backing up at this hour throughout the holiday travel season, which is December 21st, ending on January 1st, more than 115 million Americans will be traveling during that period, which is breaking records this year. Back to you guys in the studio. Hey, still pretty good at this hour. I know that we've been telling people all throughout the morning how bad that this travel day could be, but so far, Leslie, we've been lucky, lucky here in Austin because it hasn't been that bad. We showed you the airport also didn't seem too bad. Here is a live look of I-35 North right now, just passing uh, 2222 exit. So there is, you know, there are some cars out here, but not too bad. We know millions and millions of Americans will be heading back home from their Christmas celebrations and it could be a very long time to get back to where you need to be, according to AAA. Normal drive times can easily double or even triple depending on where you're going. And we've been back and forth on I-35 checking to see how it is out here because we know that I-35 is one of the deadliest highways in Texas. 153 people died in crashes last year on this interstate in this holiday season. Texas is working towards preventing any more fatalities. So we just exited I-35, making a U-turn, heading back on 35, but heading south this time. And if you're flying, you guys, today's also expected to be one of the most expensive days in terms of flying. Let's see, the average cost for a round-trip ticket, $692. So definitely 
very expensive today. Back to you. Absolutely. Maybe what we're seeing this morning is that calm before the storm. Mm, I, I know, know you said earlier, Jacqueline, those busiest hours are from four to six. Today is going to be one of the busiest travel days of the holiday season. A lot of people are returning home from their Christmas celebrations and throughout the entire day we've been out and about the Austin area monitoring traffic. Right now we're on I-35 heading north. You can see traffic not that bad at this hour on both the north and southbound side of I-35. A total of 2.9 million people are expected to fly today and tomorrow. That exceeds the nearly two and a half million who travel on U.S. airlines on any other given day. And if you plan on driving, it won't be that much better. This could be the busiest day of the year for traffic jams. Now there is a perfect holiday recipe or explanation as to why so many people are traveling this holiday season. Unemployment is low, incomes are up, and gas prices are fairly low. In all over the holiday period, more than 100 million Americans are expected to be hitting the roads. That's an increase of about 4% from last year. Now due to the holiday season, TxDOT is reminding people how to be safe on the roadways. Right now, a lot of people are going to be getting on the roads. They have holiday travel plans, and so you want to allow a lot of extra time for yourself so that way everyone can get to where they're going safely and arrive alive. The holiday travel season officially started on December 21st, and it ends on January 1st. Throughout that time, more than 115 million Americans will be traveling, which is breaking records this holiday season. Reporting from Mobile 7, Jacqueline Tarkisi and Fox 7 Austin News.